Hi, I'm the Rick at Rick Turns, and today's video is... Hi, I'm Rick Morris. This is my drying box that I made in my last video, and in this video, we're going to take a look and see if it worked. This bowl has been drying for about a week, actually, uh, it's either five or six days now, and uh, pretty sure it's done. I've checked it every day. Um, going to check now. We'll see if it's done. You remember, this is the heat source. We've got a little lamp there. It's a 53 watt lamp, which I am now going to turn off. And 80 millimeter computer case fan running at 12 volts. Going to turn that off and you can hear the instant silence. And let's take the bowl out. And thank goodness, no cracks. <laughs> Yep, I've gone around this completely. Uh, there's only one crack there, and that actually occurred before I ever started drying it. And I had put some uh, CA glue on that and rubbed some sawdust into it. Looks like it's held okay. There's a few other things. That's actually a little sap streak in there, as is this, but there are no cracks in this bowl. I am quite pleased. All right, the bowl now weighs four pounds. 7.6 ounces. Yeah, 7.6 ounces. So it has gone from 5 pounds 3 ounces down to uh, 4 pounds 7 ounces. So it's lost not quite a pound. Now I want to check the moisture content and see what it says. So I've got my uh, moisture meter here and uh, this is a block of wood. This is kill dried wood from Home Depot. Uh, it's been sitting in my shop for weeks now. So I'm going to check the moisture content on it. I got 13.5 there. 13.4. 13.6. So within a couple of tenths of a percent, the moisture meter is re reading about 13 and a half. So I'm going to check the bowl. 11.8 uh, I can't can't get it there we go 11.4 12.5 I don't know uh, exactly why I'm getting different readings but I'm taking multiple readings to check so I am between uh, 11 and a half and 12 percent now I don't know if it's the moisture meter giving me different readings. It is a very inexpensive moisture meter. Uh, it's, uh, it was only about 30 bucks, but it's really good enough for me. I don't need true precision, although it would be nice, but I didn't want to pay 200 bucks for a moisture meter either. Now, let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's actually been in the drying box for six full days. When I put it in on the 17th, it was five pounds, 3.1 ounces. And then I would check it every day. It was also, what does that say? It was 19.6% moisture, humidity, whatever. Um, and so on the second day, 4 pounds, 14.8 ounces. Uh, that was a weight loss of about ooh, 3 to 4 to 5 ounces. That was a little much. So um, from that point, I turned off the light. And I just gave it 24 hours with only the fan, no heat going into the box. It lost about an ounce, 1.2 ounces, you can see, on the uh, 19th. And the uh, moisture content was down to 15. So it went from, let me take a close look at that, 19.2 down to 15 in two days. One day of heat, one day of no heat. So then on the next day, I turned the heat on for about half the day and then turned it off. Uh, and it went down 4 pounds, 11.5 ounces, roughly 2 ounces there. 15%, nope, 15.3% humidity. It went up a little bit. Um, rather odd. And then the next day, the next three days, two days, was uh, full lights on. So we went down uh, to 4 uh, that's 9 ounces, 4 pounds, 9 ounces, 4 pounds, 8.7 ounces, 
and then today four pounds 7.6 ounces uh, so I went down a little bit more today probably a little more than I want it to be judging from the moisture content which was I didn't write it down it was between 12 and 13 with the different measurements so I'm going to call it 12.5 so uh, it apparently went up there it depends on which one of the moisture meter readings that I take but at this point I'm pretty sure this is dry enough because it's down to around 12 percent as I showed you the little block of kill drying wood that's been sitting around the workshop well this was reading up in 13 percent so I think the bowl it's probably a little below equilibrium moisture and I'm going to leave it out of the drying box uh, just sitting on my workbench and I'm going to check it tomorrow and see what the weight and the moisture content is tomorrow but as of tomorrow I expect it to be fully dry and I'll be able to uh, start shaping it there's one other thing I want to measure and that is shrinkage okay this is the end grain here right here I've got 13 and 5 16 cents inches right here I've got 13 inches and one 13 and 1 16 inches so we've lost a quarter inch shrinking this away which is really what we expect it's going to shrink more across the grain and uh, stair cherry here is this is pretty stable I've had uh, you, you can't even tell to look at it that it's out of round um, but I've had plenty of bowl blanks made from uh, maple that grows around here which is not hard maple it's it's uh, a softer maple silver maple or something like that and you can look at it and it's, uh, shrunk up so much across the grain cherry's good it only shrinks a small amount and that's good that'll leave me more wood as I start to rough it back down to round so let me see here I'm gonna put this out of the way well one of the advantages of the drying box when you're done drying it packs up into itself and presto drying boxes out of the way uh, due to various personal circumstances it has been almost a week since I took this bowl blank out of the drying box I had intended to wrap up the video nearly a week ago uh, waiting a day after taking it out to let it equalize well it's had a week to equalize now so we're gonna see what it is let me turn on the scale here so the last time I weighed it was the 23rd that was a day after I took it out of the drying box so uh, I took it out of the drying box on the 22nd so well it's only been five days that's not too bad we all set to go there yes we are Let's see what this is and I'm gonna write that down too and that is four seven one and four seven point one from 727 okay so uh, since the 23rd so over four days it's lost about a half an ounce so let me check now I want to see what the moisture reading is and first thing I'm going to do is just check it on my uh, calibration piece of very dry wood 13.4% 13.5 percent 13.5 percent so it looks like uh, equilibrium moisture content is 13.5 percent let's check the bowl here 13.7 measured on the other side 12.6 13.4 13.1 so between 12.6 and 13.5 uh, 
most of the, most of the readings there were, as I showed you, they were around 13%. So I think the bowl is dry. Um, we have reached equilibrium moisture content, and it's ready to turn again. And I'm going to do one more thing while I'm at it. When I took it out of the drying box, we had lost about a quarter inch across the grain. I just want to check it again. We're at 13 and 1 16th, and we're at 13 and 1 quarter. So it's contracted about a sixteenth of an inch since I took it out of the box. Well, this bowl is ready to turn again. Uh, so my next video is going to be taking this bowl, turning it down around again, doing my final shaping, getting it ready to be pegged in some sort of a decoration. <laughs> See you next video.